So our cat's uh, out exploring. What do white people steal now? White people stole this foot. I spend all my day here at a trade show. Sometimes all you need is a good old-fashioned Holiday Inn Express to make you just, you know, make you good for the night. It's pretty spacious for London, you know? I think of like New York rooms are pretty small. I thought London rooms would be pretty small. Chris just did the, uh, the check. What kind of check is that, babe? The bed bug check, and then it's good with that. Um, it's a, it look, it has, it, it's a more comfortable room than our last room, and it has less racism. So it's already better. The bathroom looks good, looks clean. I'm a happy camper. And it's really just for one night. And I'd be happy if it was even for longer, because again, lack of racism. More Sunday is free. Oh really? Oh, I like I like free. <laughs> wow, very cool, very cool. Like, uh, Chris is gone off to the conference and I can't get into the hotel yet. And we left our other hotel and I'm barely awake. And uh, so I'm wandering around London in the rain. But I'm by St. Paul's Cathedral and it's gorgeous. I'm gonna show you. waste my time by going in but I'm not much of a church person and I was kind of impressed by the stuff in Venice and there was like gold flakes and stuff and I feel like this one well cool may not have gold flakes so I don't know I'm gonna look it up on the internet and see if see if I find it impressive so our cats uh, out exploring I spend all my day here at a trade show that booth right there I'm actually looking around to see some of the cool other things. How other people do the marketing and sell the schools. Pretty cool stuff here. taking scratch variables for Python and putting it inside of an actual physical box. So instead of programming, kids can learn to program just by putting blocks together. Lots of VR sets for schools. It's only a matter of time before kids are taking most of their class inside of VR. It's gonna be interesting. You know, I have to build all these like uh, robotic things. There's this in, in a virtual reality uh, area. Oh, look, it's R2D2. Oh, yeah. Day is almost wrapped up. We uh, have been working this booth showing all of the wonderful IFPs and audio solutions for customers. I am exhausted and looking forward to just being able to roam around London myself. So, uh, almost done. 
And uh, yeah, this is what I do when cat's out wandering. In today's edition of Food Today, we shall have What Did White People Steal Now? White people stole this foot. This isn't made by white people, people. How do you think we got it? So like, in their little brochure thingy, it, uh, it mentions that the British Museum's history is intimately connected with that of the British Empire, and the British Empire's wealth came from the transatlantic slave trade. So it's like, yeah, 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 slavery, and that's how we got our stuff. Um, but then it just kind of moves on, and it doesn't like say that, and that's bad, and we should probably give the stuff back. I'm just, it's just like, well, okay, we'll put it out there, and that's as much as we'll do. I'm just saying, I, I, I'm conflicted about being here, which is why I'm like, why people stole this game. Um, I do enjoy seeing it, but I think I would prefer to see it in the land from which it came, or on loan from the land in which it came. You know? This, on the other hand, is actually made by white people. Supposed to have this. This is from Europe. So, yeah. Can white people have this? Yes. White people can have this. Can white people have this? I mean, yeah. If they want it. Sure. Ah, the root of all evil. Look. Money. Money. Oh, this is money. Money. Now this is interesting. Fake coins. They're, uh, some of them are obviously fake because they've turned into nothing. Some of them are a little easier or a little harder to recognize. But you know, let me know if you're good at this. He'll save children, but not the British children. There's like a bunch of kids here. I like this. I probably stole it too. Trojan War. Yeah, definitely. But uh, I like the, the look. Cameo. Yes, please. The lady and I were just having a conversation. And we were like... You sound like you're gloating about how all the white people got all the stuff. And I was like, no, no, I feel bad about it. I just feel like I need to mention it because I'm here. And I can't come here without mentioning how all the white people got the stuff. And she was like, we'll make that clear. And I was like, okay. Okay. 
Imagine finding this in your bed. Ah! I mean, it'd be very heavy and difficult to get out. But uh, maybe less bloody. It's Timon and Pumbaa. No? Somebody? No? This might actually be on loan. Which is how it should be done. walk outside of the British Museum and it's, you know, gorgeous. I'm gonna try to walk back to the hotel while it's not crazy raining. I am caught in a storm. This is what happens when you attempt to walk in London in the rain. So I sit here. I don't know where I am, but other people have taken shelter. I think I lost my credit card. I bought new shoes. I didn't tell you, but I have been wearing flip-flops this entire time in the rain because I brought one shoe and boots, which have been hurting me. So, it's typical me. Amelia Bedelia, coming to you, you know. Uh, but now I have new shoes. They're not exactly rain shoes, but they're not flip-flop. And I got them from Oxbow, a thrift store, and they were only 10 pounds. But that's when I realized I lost my credit card. So I gotta look for that while I sit here and wait for right now. I don't know if it's gonna be weighted. I may just live here now. Crisis averted. I shall not show you the credit card because I'm stupid, but not that stupid. I thought it. Yeah. Walking down the street here is just like, okay, no problem. I'll do that. Woo! Now, this is what I thought a London room would be like. It's tiny. There, I showed it to you. Uh, you know, it's um, lost property, but it is also by Hilton, so I don't know what that really means. But I really like the view. Look, it looks so British. I'm so annoying, I'm so sorry, but you know, when in London, I like all the brick. And the bathroom, I do have a complaint. Here, here's the bathroom, okay, totally fine normal bathroom. Totally acceptable. What's up with how close this toilet is to the wall? Like, I fit, but I'm small. What if my knees were longer? Europeans must be really tiny. Seriously. Like, I have this belief that um, no Europeans are fat because all the European bathrooms are really tiny and, uh, there's stairs everywhere, nothing is accessible. Also apparently no Europeans are disabled because um, London is not made for people who need to get upstairs um, or who have trouble getting upstairs or who have long legs. Just FYI. So Kat been dragging me down a bunch of twisty alleyways through the London streets to take me to this eatery the Indian eatery it's called where we're gonna be hopefully underground underground like we dig in the dirt I always got to put a Chris Bunny to work that's how it seems baby you ready for this I'm ready for this all right this is amazing It's underground. It's it's got the eye of a tiger. Cat loves the tiger. Cats cats recognize game, right? Game game recognize game. <laughs> that that was pretty cool. It was really awesome being underground, like you just saw. Good food. Uh, I didn't different, understand. Different uh, flavor to the same dish that I'm used to. Mm -hmm. I went. I was a wuss, and I went to keep this off. But it was a different taste to it. Yeah, very pumpkin-y, not very yogurt-y. Good overall. Highly recommend. Come check it out. In the ever-continuing saga, which is what is going on with Cat's feet, um, remember those shoes I bought 
for uh, from Oxbow. Yeah, uh, remember those shoes I bought from Oxbow? They gave me blisters, and I couldn't find the band aids, so I had to buy more shoes. Um, and so these shoes that I went to go buy that were like the only store I could find that had shoes um, were, what are these, Skechers? Were Skechers, like tennis shoes, which is fine. And I was like, okay, I wear a seven. And I tried them on and they fit. I mean, like they went on. And so I bought them. And then I came over here and I said, hey, look. And, I, and then I was like, hey, look where my toe is. Isn't it funny? And maybe my toe was like really far back. And Chris was like, oh my God, these do not fit you at all. And he looked it up and yes, okay, a UK size seven is really not the same thing as a US size seven. It's a US size nine. So I was about to go around with like, you know, clown shoes on. Um, we had to take them back and look real dumb. Like, we don't pay attention to things. Not just that. It's not just that I bought them without checking. So I tried them on and just was stupid. So, yeah. But anyway, so I got new shoes. And these are actually comfortable. And um, this is, let this be a lesson to you. Wanda not tip number 474. Um, bring tennis shoes. You want to bring cute shoes, but you're going to forget one of them. Um, you want to bring boots, but those are going to cause you some rubbish. Um, you're going to buy other shoes, like little cute shoes. Those cute, all cute shoes are always going to cause rubbish. There's always going to be issues. Um, flip flops are going to be a problem for rain. And so just buy some tennis shoes. I wish we were sponsored by Vessies. I am not. So don't buy those. <laughs>